Hello and welcome to the Who How YouTube channel. The topic for today's video is How To on Exam.net Part 3. Today's video is about how to sign in as a teacher, how to create a new group, how to submit your exam as a student and what should be the next steps for the teacher. Let's begin. Number one, how to sign in as a teacher. Just, you're supposed to input the, your email address. And then the password. Click on sign in. Now, this is the dashboard after signing in. Step 2. How to create a new group. To create a new group, go on this button, create new group. Select the title or write the title of your new group. Say test 2 and create the group. The new group has been created. Now, you're supposed to enter the question paper over here. Go to new exam. Select the exam name, go to user PDF to upload the question paper, the question paper has been uploaded, go to close. Select the information of the student that you want to receive with the answer sheet. I have selected the first name, last name and the class. So the students are supposed to put their sections also. Select the student workplace. I am just going to select the writing area over here. And keep everything the way it is. and Not touch anything else. Go to security. Select on allow any browser. Select the settings for the low security mode. Select require an explanation but unlock immediately and then create the exam. Now as you can see the new exam has been created. This is the exam key of your new exam. As a teacher you are supposed to copy the exam key and share it with your students. Now this is the student area. I'm going to show you how the student is supposed to enter the exam key and how are they supposed to submit their exam. Enter the exam key. Next, write your name. Select the class and fetch the exam. Now, even if the teacher shares the exam key with the students before the beginning of the exam, the exam will not open for the students till the set time of the exam. Hence, this message will show on the student's screen waiting for the exam to open. As soon as the teacher clicks on the open for open up for new students, as the teacher clicks on this option open up for new students, then the exam will be available for all the new students. Now you just have to click on this option begin exam and you can see the question paper over here and the answer sheet over here. Now I'm going to write the exam say I'm going to start with this. Please remember to put the correct serial number of the question paper. Now suddenly if I type the windows button or I try to exit the full screen then this notification will appear and the exam will freeze for me till the time I write an explanation for my actions. So I am going to write for example 
and request unlock. As soon as that I, cl I clicked on the request unlock button, you could see that the screen appeared in a full screen mode. Now I can just write whatever answers that I want to just type in the as it is a multiple choice question. I will write in my options A, B, C, D and then submit the exam and click after this the, uh, another message bar will appear saying submit the exam students are supposed to click on this submit exam. Now this on the students window this message will be visible thank you for your submission that means the, that your answer sheet has been already submitted to your teacher. Now the final part of the video what should the teacher do next? After the assigned time of the test is over the teacher should follow the steps accordingly. First they should close this open and close tab. Now this exam will be closed for all the new students. Click on close. Go to surveillance and result. And then as you can see that five students have started the exam namely one, two, three, four, five. Three students have submitted the exam. The students who have submitted the exam a tick mark will show in front of their names and ongoing. That means two students are still writing the exam. So as you can see that who and how first class in exam.net have already submitted their exam. Hence this icon appears in front of their names and shows that student has submitted their exam. When I click on the student, it shows that the student is logged out. That means they have exited the exam and if I click on this student new exam now the message shows that the student is writing and has connection to the exam. The teachers can select the exam from this drop down menu. Say the exam the assigned time of the exam is over, then the teachers should clip, click on this option for submission for students. Now after this, the exam will be closed for all the students and all the students answer sheets will be automatically submitted to the teacher as you can see over here. Now if I go on say moons and stars, this shows the student answer. If I go on exam.net and go to student answer, this shows that the, the child was still writing yet the exam was submitted because the time for writing the exam was over. Now the teacher should go and go to surveillance and results and they can download the answer sheet of the students from here from download PDF. Or they can download the answer sheet of the students from download word files or they can print the answer sheet of the students. One can download the exam, exam sheet of the students by clicking on the students name say moons and stars and then I go and download the PDF of their answer sheet. I hope this video has helped you a lot. So please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Who How for more fun and educational videos.